tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a colourful heart design, custom shape, combined with smart objects and gradients to create sort of an interesting live effect custom shape. So instead of just a custom shape that's filled with a single gradient, it's now actually filled with multiple gradients and other effects. So just going to get rid of this. Don't want that one. So remove that. Go over to the custom shape tool, select shape, and just got these designs. These are heart designs from Graphic Extras, but you can use, of course, any custom shape you can find on the web. These ones are particularly good, I'd have to say. So, create that custom shape. It's vector design. It can be any size. So you can just, obviously you can add, change the fill at any point. And this is the reason I'm actually showing with this video. So you can actually change the fill, but you can do a gradient, but it's limited to just one gradient. You can get around that, and that's why I'm just doing this video. So I'm just going to go with see a color scheme there. First thing to do, just go to a layer and smart object, convert to smart object. Once you've converted that, just go to layer and layer start, and now gradient overlay. It's the key thing. So that you get that default gradient, which you might or may may not, may not like. Of course, you can always set a particular grade, make that the default. So you can just click there, make the default. So it actually remembers that. So now click OK. I could have used obviously radial or linear or whatever. So it's not uh, now layer. And this is the key thing. Layer smart objects convert to smart objects. So the whole thing now has been converted to a smart. Just remove that. So you can see it's all been converted now. Now I can go over here, layer, layer style and gradient overlay again. Now that's the default, obviously it's, uh, I can actually just go there and I can change it maybe to radial and the key thing, difference. So I can actually now move that around, I can change the scale as well, and again make default. So click OK, go to layer and convert that all to smart objects. So now the whole thing, the gradient, the gradient and so on and so on, are all one single smart object which can, again, have a layer, layer style, and gradient overlay. And then you can, you can actually see now what's happening. You can actually get some really interesting, weird and colourful textured designs. You can modify that. You don't have to, obviously, you could, there's thousands of possibilities. You can combine different gradients. You don't have to go for the same gradient either. So once you do that, click OK. Now, nearly finished, so I've got layer and smart object I'm converting the whole thing to a smart object that's the key thing for the final bit because what I want to do now is also apply filters so you can actually go filter filter gallery and I'm just going to bring up go through some of these filters say watercolor it's perfectly reasonable click OK and you will see now that's changed there and camera raw filter I love camera raw filter it's one of those really everything in one sort of single place and so what you can do, you can actually modify the, the colour, make it more heart-like, more sort of red, pinky sort of colour. Click OK. And there you have it. You've actually got this design. Now, you could obviously continue, add more gradient effects and so on and so on and so on. But there you have it. So instead of just going over to the custom shape and just seeing that you can modify fill, and it's still available, see it's just there. So you can now create it obviously with filters and gradients and much more so it's a single thing and it's still all editable that is the key thing not just editable here so where you can just get select one this is editable all the way through to you know with a gradient multiple gradients and filters as well now it'd be really nice of course if they actually added that into this dialogue and you could sort of add like a sort of appearance palette in illustrator there's a sort of way of adding three four five six seven eight different fills on top of each other and different different modes and that sort of thing, blending modes so and effects so that will be a nice that's a quick way of doing it by smart objects hope you found this of interest